Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create our very own YouTube banner. Um, this is for the new YouTube banners um, on the new channel layout. Okay, so to start off with um, we're going to look at the channel art guidelines page um, on the Google support forum and um, we're going to be looking at two main page or yeah page sizes or um, canvas sizes. So the first one is this TV size and the second one is going to be this desktop minimum and mobile. Um, the TV size is 2120 pixels by 1192 and that says 1193. <laughs> oh YouTube, always pissing up. Anyway, so that is the first dimension. The second dimension is the desktop minimum and mobile dimension which is 1280 pixels by 360. Or 350. Yep, 350. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that our content, or this content here, will show up on mobile devices as well because you don't want half of this name cut off because that's kind of pointless. So we're going to make sure all our main banner fits within this, or all our main content fits within this minimum banner here. So first of all, we're going to go over to Photoshop and we're going to open up a uh, canvas and we're going to make this canvas 2120 pixels by 350 pixels this will give us this nice long rectangle shape that's my notebook and the second canvas we are going to open up is uh, 1, 000, uh, two, sorry, 2120 pixels by 1193 pixels now this is our TV layout ok so my, my banner is quite simple because it's just simply big big red box with my name, my website and my logo. So that's what we're going to recreate today. So first of all we're going to go over to Illustrator and we're going to simply get in my logo <coughs> like so. Okay, okay. Right, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag or copy and paste this logo over into our banner. So you can do exactly the same with your logo, and I'm going to make mine a bit smaller and place it right in the middle. And I also forgot to mention that we're going to also open up this dimension here, this small dimension, which is 1280 by 350. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go um, make sure you have black as your foreground colour, and we're going to simply press Alt and Backspace. This is going to make our background back black. We're going to press Control A to select the background and then we're going to press Control X to delete the background. Now you might be thinking what the hell is the point of that? Simply what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this big big uh, canvas and we're going to click paste. And you'll notice that this is going to paste it right in the middle of our document and this is our uh, desktop minimum and mobile dimensions. And again we're going to come over to our here. This time I'm going to change the background colour to a light grey and do exactly the same. Select the background and delete. And there we go. So we want our main content to fit inside this box here. And then we want um, this box also to be filled with a colour um, or other content that other people might not be able to see. And then this big box here we will leave as a blank space. So in my case, what we're going to do is we're going to grab my logo colour and we're going to set that as the background and that's that and I'm gonna, not going to change the white the white circle I'm just going to leave it as that, that looks kind of cool ok so now we're going to just quickly drag in my name like so and obviously we won't be able to see it because it's red so we're going to do a colour overlay and we're going to make it white like so and we're going to, actually no we're not going to drag it small yet in here we're going to do www.cjgfx.co.uk and we're going to copy and paste that in now they're both the same height and width um, although the font, the font is exactly the same we're going to paste layout styles, we're going to select both layers and make them small and we're going to make them above now obviously your banner is going to be different to mine because mine's using a different logo and different website address and text but you can 
um, customize it to how you want. So I think we'll probably leave it something like that. that. And also, we need to remember to make sure that um, uh, it fits within the um, guidelines. So we're going to create a layer like so. Press X, and we're going to paste in. Drag above. Okay, so you can see it's a bit big. So we're going to simply just scale it down and align into the center of our page. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so our our main banner fits within our minimum space. So now we need to just fill up this space here. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer and set it to the red. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to select this layer and we're going to paint that red. Now we can get rid of our uh, black box here, but what we'll do just to make sure is we'll drag the rulers in just so we know where our dimensions fit in like so now we can get rid of our black box okay moving on we're gonna paint our background to our same color and there we go we now have our YouTube uh, banner our basic banner as well not very complex and there we go, that is pretty much how to create a YouTube banner. <coughs> Sorry about that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more content coming soon.